Okay, and once you're finished, it'll look from something like this to something like this. Alright, so now let's open up After Effects. I'm using version CS 5.5, but this effect should work in any version. Alright, so let's open up a new comp to do this. Click on Composition right here in the top left. Once you have that done, let's import our footage. You can do this by clicking Control i That'll open up the Import folder. Alright, let's drag our video file into the new comp. Once we have this... Here, let me set mine to where I wanted to start. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is create a new white solid. You can do this by either clicking in the top left corner on layer, new, and solid, or you can click control Y and click okay. All right, now let's drop down the effects panel on the white solid, go to opacity. You can do that by doing this, or you can just click T that'll open up opacity and let's drop the opacity just so it would be faded but so you could see the background layer there you go 40 percent looks good now what we're gonna do let's zoom in onto our lightsaber and drag the video around here you can switch to this hand tool right here by either clicking on it or clicking H alright now let's grab the pen tool right here or you can click G we'll create a mask so mask around your lightsaber where you want it to glow and there we are, mine's looking something like that. So now here comes the long part. What you're gonna have to do is keyframe the mask. So let's go to mask down here, select the mask path keyframe, also the mask expansion, and change from pen back to selection tool. So you can just either click on this or click V and that should do it. All right, and now let's go frame by frame and edit this mask so it stay in line with the lightsaber where you want it to be moving around. To go in through each frame what you can do is just click page down and see that'll take you frame by frame. Make sure you have mask expansion selected under the mask effect so that you could adjust the mask over all the keyframes. Now once you have every frame done what we're gonna do is take this white solid and duplicate it four times. You can do this by clicking Control D, or duplicate it three times, I mean, so you could have four white solids. Now select all the white solids, hold down Control, and click on all four of them, and right click them and we'll make a pre comp. Just name it Lightsaber. All right, now that you have your pre comp here, what we're gonna do is mask, feather each mask little by little, I mean. So open down to the effects panel, let's go into masks, and grab the mask feather. So we'll feather each solid little by little. First one we'll do at 5%, next one at 15%, and the one after that at 30%, and the last one at 60%. Alright, now you can see that your lightsaber is glowing. Oh, there was one thing we forgot to do. Let's grab the opacity back on each one. So you can either scroll down through the effects right here under transform or a quicker way just click T again and let's bring the opacity back to 100 for each solid. There you go, now you see your saber is glowing. You can go back into your original comp and there, see it's glowing white. So technically you're done with the lightsaber effect. However, if you, if you want to change the colors, what you'll do is go back into this pre-comp Go into your effects panel right here on the right side and type in change to color. There you go, this effect. And drop this effect on the last layer. So you'll leave this in white because we'll change it from white and change it to whichever color you want. Um, I'll do red. There, so it changed a bit but you can't really tell a difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and paste it onto the other two solids. Not the first one though. Click on it, click Control C, I mean, to copy. And then go back here and Control V. 
There you go, you're seeing it glow a bit more. And let's put it on this one also. And also, if it seems like your change to color effect is not working, make sure you change this right here from hue to hue, lightness, and saturation. And there it is. You go back to our comp one, and there's your lightsaber.